Yo and what's up guys, Potato Bob here from Zfrag. We're going to be playing this game on StarCraft 2. So here I'm going to be Potato Bob the Yellow Protoss on the top left with my ally Eccentrix which is a brand new player. I just buff him the game as that's what we do at Zfrag. We help player to get the games they want and we help them to get some skills so we're going to see if eccentrics get some improvement playing with me so there we go we're going to have the etri on the other side the boat zergs player number four why doesn't i have his name what the oh was that against computers i can't remember well, that seems that seems like it's been against computer. I don't know. I'm so sorry about that. I thought it was a real game, but you're going to see some uh, some funny stuff though. So we're going to accelerate this then. So basically, it's only me and the <laughs> eccentrics. I was thinking though that we were having this game uh, really easy when I looked at the replay. Sorry, we recorded that. Uh, a week ago actually and I'm making a lot of uh, commentary today so this is the the first one I'm gonna be doing it's uh, normal that I'm getting warmed up and I'm looking for my words so here's my getaway and my forge I guess I wanna do uh, show him what could be a standard defense uh, so we're going to put uh, phone and cannons to defense the door and uh, have, uh, have some uh, supply depot in the front block Normally should be making uh, more marines and should link this over here like that. Yeah, that's done. That's perfect. Uh, I don't know. I think those are to repair or something like that. That's what he told me. But he has four actually, so I think they are sleeping. Bit more marines and that could be perfect. What you're going to see is he's going to be missing supply depot and he hate missing supply depot. So he's going to be making a ton. But uh, that's not the best thing I've seen on this game. But that's a f one of the first one. We pardon it. It's the first game we played. So there we go, linking a ton of supply depot. And I said ton. It's like, oh, I got money. I spent supply depot. No, it's okay. It's okay. Let's see on my side. I got my forge, so I'm going for uh, the attack upgrade. As I got a forge, uh, nothing to lose to go there. And I'm like, oh, how much uh, money do I have right there? I'm gonna look at that. Uh, we're going to look at the resources. So, our Zerg are very good on resources. Got a bit too much supply depot here. And uh, 90 for 23 units, that's a lot. And 77, 67, 75 for 18 units. That's a ton also, so I made a lot too much Palin. But I guess that was to make a uh, Fulton Cannon everywhere. I didn't want it to get attacked by any Mutalisk. So, I know they are not early game, but we did a good deed there as you can see uh... the enemy uh, decided to uh... not send more unit at this moment well it was the good time to send but very nice to make a wall like when the enemy is attacking they can't pass through right now he opened the door to let my zealot go and kill them that's perfect and here you can see i'm making an expansion i didn't even see myself going to do that uh... so here comes the expansion for the protoss uh, we have nothing here. Oh, yes, we have a scan. We could have a scan. We're going to look for a... Uh, for Eccentrics view. Let's see. Uh, so what he views. So actually, as the supply depot, we can see. You can see my base. And that's a battle. So right now, we see that uh, Zealot is going to attack to have us a little scouting. What's over here? I see no overlord. Ah, I don't like that. I know it's a computer, but we play like if it's real so I'm transferring some more guys to farm over here maybe I'm gonna get some income one day so I'm having a ton of gas uh, you guys that play Protoss uh, guess about what I'm gonna do yeah 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 so I wanted to uh, show uh, some nice stuff with the Protoss also as I got a good uh, defense and uh, yeah that was basically to show my friend uh, how protos are cool so I don't know when that will happen but it's gonna happen one day we're going to go fast forward a bit just to see what happens 
By the way, I have a, I have a wall over here, so nobody's gonna pass through this wall, of course. So we are all fine. Yeah, that's a perfect zeload. What's up? Did he make any upgrades, Add though? Add-on complete. Add complete. Alright, no engineering bay, no oh other building oh. else than supply depot. So, oh, we died over here. We didn't see what was coming up, but we know that we gotta put some defense. Will the Photon Cannon come in time? We have a good placement here for the Protoss player with the Z loads. Making a straight line. Oh. I got a full ID right here to spawn cannons at that moment. But. What do you know? Will they be in time? And no. And we got the cancel over here. Money is returning back to the owner. Here's a good damage though. The uh, the uh, SCV are making a good work uh, repairing those. Uh, yeah, they never got touched. That's perfect. That's what we want. Another Lord scouted me over here, so he knows I'm there. But he could have faced a Fulton cannon, and that he doesn't like. Flying units. But what's that? Oh my God! I got two Stargate. And what's up? A fleet beacon. Researching for carrier stuff. What are we doing over here? Oh, carrier stuff soon after carrier stuff carrier stuff stuff soon after that? Oh my god. The mothership is on. Oh my god. Do we have a good defense enough, you think guys? I don't know. We have a good wall in. But this, uh, what is happening over here? We got marauders! Two marauders actually, that's not a ton. But that's good, that's uh, that's good. We are learning, we are learning. Here, everything is running, but I should use my... Uh, sorry, my energy for my buildings, my research. My research are done over here. Not my air though, it's not all done. And what about that? Seems pretty good. Everybody moves under the mothership at my command. Mothership, go! Let's put this on normal speed to see what happens over here. So, we have uh, the... I don't know how that's called, by the way. But it's uh, stop your units from moving and it makes some damage. We have a vortex falling down and the units are trapped in. We have the Mutalisk attacking right for the Mothership. The Mothership is going to escape from the Hydralisk. We have the Zergling attacking the door, but the SCVs are repairing at the same time. That's so perfect. Everybody's getting damage over here. We lost some of our Void Rays. The Carrier is making a good cover over those last units that are going to die in the fire of war. And here is the Survivor Zealot, which made it and dies the last the last hydralisk oh my god that was uh, that was kind of the best fight of the game right now let's see what happens next so the mother ship is moving we expect some help here from the Terran which haven't done a lot in the game but uh, did a good wall in so let's see if he's gonna hold that wall much more longer maybe we could have some more supply depot at least yes supply depot so carrier has arrived, void raised, z loads. Everybody got subgrade over here. One one. That's not perfect, but one one also. Yep, yep. Oh, going for an expansion right now. He just learned that the money won't flow anymore from here in a certain amount of time. We got three reaper for harassment over here, but we'll never arrest anything, I don't think, as they are <laughs> at 20 minutes like a bit late for harassment but uh, you know we are discovering units oh nice they can w jump over the walls that's funny so I just told him that and he's gonna maybe use that so here we see the push none of those units are cloaked that's very bad now they are cloaked stealth up and the vortex is coming we're gonna go play in the vortex with the void rays only gonna stay just close enough to be able to stealth them when they come out that's all what we want we want to spot the overlord coming out and that's it there we go 
Here comes the Metalist. Is he gonna be able to take out the mothership? The mothership is down at 16 health, but is going to escape, my friends, uh, with that flight of flying units against roaches. That's perfect owning. Only the Iridalist have a certain chance with the Mutalist, but they are in solo quantities because we are fighting against the uh, Medium Computer, I think. So this is like hacking the system, I know. But I'm showing my friend how it works. So basically, I ask him to help me out with the attack, I think, at uh, some point. I'm going to retreat and just kill and kill units, try to just make sure they don't kill us. Oh god, he has a ton of mineral over here as you can see, 4070, that's a ton. So we're going to keep looking that up here, oh maybe, maybe, maybe marauders are grouping up. More units spawning on the proto side also. This void ray might going down but uh, not yet, maybe in another life. As we can see the zerg is kind of out of units, I've been sending everything he could to kill me. Oh, that was all a lunge. There you go, what's up on the right? Oh, we are not going to spot this overlord, I think. Maybe yes, maybe no, maybe, maybe, maybe did that Prata see that? Oh, that Prata seen that? Here he goes, the overlord won't ex... ex oh, and what did that Prato see? He's seen a base. And at the same time, that Prato is going to turn around and go for that base. So poor Overlord have choose the wrong decision of going to his base. Very bad here that we have no uh, no Zerg units to kill. But uh, the Zealot won't even be in time though. Maybe just to take a little bit damage. Alright, so giving up some time for my friend Eccentrix to build some units over here. I'm gonna be destroying the rest of this, you don't need to see that. Here I have a standard defense of photon cannon, but they are not all around, so if Mutalis can attack me, my uh, expansion is going down, I'm going to learn from this. I have a sleeping uh, probe over here, I don't know it's for why, but he has a surely a reason. A lot of probes over here, but only one on each side is r getting uh, gas. All my energy is full, but I don't have enough uh, building to produce a ton, of, a ton of units. As you can see, I got a lot of cash and I don't spend it all. I want to have a good flight, I think that's the good point behind that. And uh, all my upgrades done. And uh, basically I'm really thinking about helping my friend over here. So uh, he learned about the ghost and I think right now his ID is going to go with the cloak and the nuclear launch. So we're going to fast forward this a bit to see the next fight. Just uh, going to go to everyone. Uh, and uh, alright, that's how it works. Alright, oh, how nice is that. Woohoo! Sorry, I had to do it. Now I I'll remember more that uh, now that I've pressed one and two and one and two. Oh, so the Zerg didn't see that. Oh my God, the Protos didn't see that. All right, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to put some more challenge in this game. So here we go. The extra the extractor is going down. Oh my God! We got some carry over here. Did they see that Overlord? They seen it. Maybe that. Oh! Still 11 health over here. But that mothership is still alive. No protection about it, but that's all fine. We got supply depots. Are they at the good door? Is there another door? Yes, they are at the good door. The ID here is uh, very good for the Terran to take two expansion at the same time. But he's not taking both at the same time, even though he has the money for it. But that's a pretty good ID. Well, he transferred those SCVs that are working too hard over here, over here, that will be another story. Oh my god, I'm attacked. I lost something over here. I'm not so sure what. I'm, I do think it was some Zealot. The mothership is all alone. We want to regroup before attacking because we want to be stilted. Let's see if those carriers got all them... Yes, some of them, most of them. Upgrade. Yes, we are almost done over here. We need only one interceptor. That's pretty good. And three more carriers are over here are going to join up the ranks. Ghost. Not enough guys are working over here. All the energy is still filled on that block. That's not good for me. Oh, this overlord is going down. And what about this one? 
The Zillow spotted it, but it's not worth an overlord. <laughs> okay. So, what's up here? Oh my god. There is... Yes. You have... Like, this is not enough SCVs for one base. Basically, Eccentrics, that's for you. This is enough. This is enough SCV for one base. You wanna have that much SCV here, and you wanna have much that, that much SCV here, and here. And then you have uh, at least that much guy as me to fight. So yeah, you gotta make more cash, and uh, if well, that's not a problem in this game. You got six thousand, and uh, that's spending it basically. Uh, maybe, maybe more about the macro, control three, control one, everything like that. So we had the uh, yes, yes. I teach him something. I teach him how to scan. That's what I did there. And uh, there he's gonna go. Yes, he got his uh, ghost. I'm waiting for the ghost. Yes, that's what I'm doing all that time. And here's coming one ghost. And uh, yeah, I'm dancing in front of the door. Oh, and here comes the enemy units. I'm going to ask for the ghost to hurry itself because we can't stand much more longer just dancing in front of them. That mothership is going so down, but the vortex was right in time to protect it. Every units are going in the vortex over here. Except those three zealots, even those three zealots. We have over here a ghost which is going to take down by itself that overlord. <laughs> I know the fight was over here and we missed it, but it's okay. Here comes the mutalisk. <laughs> they are going down. That Voiri is going to do all the damage over here. Oh yeah, really. No, my zealot, poor zealot, which are meat shield in this war. But where? Oh my god, that mothership is still holding up. The point behind this is to raise our armor points, well, uh, the shield, to be able to use it as long as possible without having to buy another one. So everybody one is, everyone is still to the We are waiting for the ghost. The ghost is coming up. All the units are preparing to move further and further. We're going to look on the Zerg base to see if they are prepared for this. The Zerg are nuts already. Oh, we got an army over here. Are they gonna get you at the good place? We see the Protoss coming up, so the Zerg is going to move and what? Oh, everybody is stealthed. They are going for that mothership. That mothership is so down. The carriers appear. We see so much carriers over here. They are not standing in front of, the, of those flying units for sure. It doesn't have enough Mutalisk and Hydralisk. Much, 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 too much, uh, too much roaches, sorry. I was looking for the word the word. But did we see any spot for a nuclear launch? Not any. That ghost died because he didn't knew how to cloak itself, I think. Did he? Alright, let's turn back to our units to see. Yes, it doesn't seem to be any more uh, of our uh, ghost over here. Bam! I'm having fun over here, just holding the door. I'm waiting for another door, another uh, wave to come up. That's a good idea. What did you just do? Did you EMP just a... Oh, nuclear launch missile has left. Yes, there was a nuclear launch about to fall here, but it didn't. That's what we missed. Oh, wow. Funny. Alright, so I think uh, my friend is trying to the EMP. We're going to see that with this ghost, I think. About now. Just wanted to make sure. Sorry, I know this is uh, boring to watch. You'd prefer watch the war be at the bottom, but basically, uh, this is to uh, to set me up. Yes, that was an EMP. All right, so it just knows uh, how to use the EMP. That's not a cloak, by the way, <laughs> but a good try. Here you go, sleeping SCV, sleeping SCV. You got uh, two rows of sleeping SCV, which will be getting you a. Uh, 
ton of money. Gotta work on that, Alexandrix. I know, I know, this is the first game, but the next game are going to have the same problem a bit. Fast forward, going down, no more expansion, carry has arrived, you heard that. I'm sorry for the speed over here, but we wait for more units. Well, I think we wait for a mothership over here or something like that. The units are defending for the base, that's good. That's 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 a good idea, a good point. Yeah. The defense is good over here. But the attack is coming up. These enemy will escape from the carrier which are a bit too slow. But by the way, flying straight. So they might catch up over time. Maybe not. Did they hide in ground? We will never know. Oh there they are. Zerg units are coming up in the base, they are gonna get exterminated by those carriers. Oh my god. And the carriers are attacking the bases over here just to destroy some bases, just to make sure that those Zerg doesn't get too big. We are still going to wait a little bit here for the help from the Terran. We are about uh, 40 minutes now and uh, we haven't got anything more than the uh, uh, then uh, then a ghost to attack and he died as he sent his nuclear missile let's go a bit faster again uh, still still what's up come over here guys why spin guys or exhausted that's fine that's fine we are late game now everybody's switching of place Everybody left the base. Oh yeah. Hi. No more job. See ya. Too much over there. Send them on the other side. Okay. See ya. <laughs> I was like, let's have fun. So that's like scary for a mutalisk. Like, I'm not sure Zergling would like la would like that though. Ah oh boy. Come on, bro. What's up? Oh, we are waiting for that mothership. Is that it? I heard her. Come on, little baby. You can do it. Wait, am I mining there when they are just right here mining? No, they are not. Okay, I think I missed the fight right here. Going to go to 42, that's pretty good. Just to see what we have up here. And pause this. Viking, battle cruiser, cloaked ghost, ready to make a nuclear launch. We have some Reapers, we have some Hellions, ready to make some frontal damage. We have the Carriers, and I think we are waiting for this mothership. But the fight is already started, those Zergling are going down so quick, it doesn't even get close to our units. The blue Eccentrix is going to take care of this hatchery by himself. No help at all. Everything goes down on his way. So powerful. Those drone are escaping. There is nothing they can do unless they go left. That's what they can do. They are going to escape, I think. The Predas is going to unite over here with this, uh, with the Terran player to exterminate those dangerous Zerg. So the murder ship is a bit behind over here bit too late on the help the Terran is going to suffer from this I think 
Not at all. Everything seems perfect. The war is going insanely good. We are going to see this. Oh, everything is going down so quick. The vortex, every unit is going in it. We're going to see an explosion over here. The nuclear launch has failed, my friend. Just the side of the etchery and killed some zergling. Here goes the spawning pool. Here goes the queen. The spine. We are going for the extractor right now. What's up next? We are going for those anti-air defense. The overlord are going down. The other extractor, the, spy, uh, the spire. This zerg is down. Yeah, that's Starcraft. And watch that out. The Terran is going to do his part, attacking his side first with the battle cruiser. Not using his Yamato gun, even though he got the, uh, the spell that could be pretty useful right now. He doesn't know yet about it. We're going to have a ton of force field, pretty useless again. Those wall of, uh, well, dead Zerg. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Is there anything left? Yes, there is some overlord, but I think we're going to scout for them just after to exterminate the total thing unless we leave the game right now because it's quite over. Well, that was pretty damn nice. Well, Eccentrix uh, liked that game. It wasn't uh, the one he liked the most because it wasn't the PvP one, but uh, he learned a lot. And I wish you guys could have learned uh, something there. And uh, at least I found that funny. So I wish you get good time. I wish you guys good time. This was Potato Bob from ZFragged.engine.com. If you need any tips, if you want free games, come see us at ZFragged. We help people. And uh, we could have some help too. So uh, see you guys later.